If we set this down, does it shoot a sleeper? Let's find out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at it going to town on him. He's coming after us, though. Love it. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have just uh, gotten the next treasure uh, that uh, we took for a quest. And I also uh, came here earlier off camera, and I made up 25 shotgun shells. Um, and none too soon, too, because we're, <laughs> we're like down to one. One shell. Uh, all right, so let's turn this in and see what we get for it. Well, how about a pistol? Had... Here is your reward. I, I don't want one. that shit. Oh, okay, let's take the first aid bandages. That you know, that's not a bad thing. That'll save us a trip, uh, or it'll keep us from having to go back to the desert to get more aloe uh, for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, leather boots. We've already got that. Okay, so what what jobs you got now? We have one more buried supplies quest. Uh, let's just keep doing that. I'm not going to try and do a fetch or a clear quest until I've got a pistol with a bunch of ammo. Um, or a bunch of ammo in some way, shape, or form. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, let's take a look at that, too. Uh, so we just dinged. Now, uh, what I want to do is I took the first point in intellect. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Never mind. Uh, the last point I took... I took in uh, minor 69er. So there's a couple things we could do here. Um, we could take the second point in minor 69er. In doing so, we'll be able to make poor quality, in other words, level two tools for our axe and our pick so they don't wear out so quickly. Um, that's an option. The other thing we could do is we could um, we take mother load. Uh, we will get 20% more harvest, um, which is going to be super useful. Um, or we could start working towards Grease Monkey. Um, so to do Grease Monkey, I need two points in intellect. So I would have to spend one point in intellect to get this dullard. And then the next time we ding, then we could get Grease Monkey um, and have the ability to ride a bike. And then as soon as I do that, then I'll find the schematic for it. <laughs> you know what we really need to do, you guys? We need to find a library somewhere. That's what we need to do. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay, you know, hmm, I think... <laughs> I really think, what do we got going on in agility here? Um, we have agility th three. Run and gun wouldn't be bad because, you know, hip, hip fire actually, but also, um, what does it do? Yeah, 20%, the, you know, the, the movement penalty that we get when we're trying to reload our weapon, our gun, or our crossbow is reduced by 20%. So that's not a bad one to get either. I think I think what's going to serve us best, particularly since we're going to have to farm some resources um, to get ready for Horde Night, is let's take a point in Mother Lord. I think we should do that because 20% more stuff. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold off a little bit longer on on the uh, bicycle scum, uh, bicycle perk, and we really need to start looking just look for, looking for bookcases because um, you know we we could find that. We could find that. Or we could even find a mini bike schematic, which would be even better than the bicycle anyway. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so now, off camera, when I was doing the uh, the Berry Supplies quest, we also... Yeah, you know what? That doesn't suck getting those bandages. In fact, let's, t let's take one right now. <laughs> I need to top my health off a little bit. Um, let's also chow down on this to get our stamina cap back up. So, uh, I found some aloe vera seeds, too. And we... Oh, I should have... I should sell that, because we already know potato seeds. Let's do it. Let's just run back and sell it really quick, because we're right here. Uh, anyway, off camera, we had an airdrop. And so, it landed in our town. I marked the general location, but I don't think we'll have too much trouble finding it. So, we're going to go look for that we got to go back to the base and drop all this crap off again because we're forever filling up our inventory. And then we're going to get started working... Excuse me. Working on the Horde base. Uh, where to go? Okay, yeah, let's sell this. 
Yeah, because we already... Sorry, well, let me just double check needed. that. I'm Come back soon. pretty sure I did potato off. seeds. Um, I... Well, I guess I don't know if I've learned it or not. Because it doesn't have a, a thingamadoodle here. It is lit up, though. All right, hold on. Let's compare it to other seeds. See, now, all of these seeds show a little padlock, but that one does not. Grass seed? Really? Oh. That one does not. So I have to... And I'm pretty... I almost distinctly remember reading it uh, a few episodes back. Um, so I'm going to say I know it because there's no padlock next to it. Okay. Yeah, so let's sell it. Uh, where is it at? There we go. 160 coin. That's not too bad, actually, for that. Um, by the way, speaking of books... Do, 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 she doesn't have... He doesn't... Whatever. Doesn't have a secret stash. I have never seen a trader with no secret stash before. That is really odd. I almost wonder if that's a bug or something. Where is books at? There's a mining helmet, but we don't need one of those now. Iron chest armor. Uh, I don't, I don't know where books would be or schematics, or maybe, maybe she just doesn't have any. That's probably what it is. She probably just doesn't have any. Tin lockpicks for 200 coin. You know what? That's actually, I think, worth doing. Oh, no, that's 2,000 coin. That's 200 Let's apiece. Buy, Never mind. Stranger. <laughs> Never mind. That is not worth doing. Okay. Let's go see if we can find that drop. Okay, here we are. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, baby. Oh, look at that, you guys. I love the SMG. I even like it better than the AK, mostly because you can shoot 9mm ammo on it. That is amazing. That is freaking amazing. Quality of craft time is determined by its governing peak perks, such as shotgun aside for all shotguns. Okay, but that's just saying. Whew, okay. That was probably better than finding even a pistol. Um, so you know what that means then? That means we need to, well, let's see. We need to go to Fortitude. We need to start putting perks in a machine gunner. Um, unlocks AK-47 crafting. You better not mess with me, buzzard. I will wreck your day. Buzzards, I'll wreck both of your days. Um, okay, cool. Oh, look at that. We got a hunting knife, too. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get, let's get back to our base, which is over here, and uh, see if we have what we need to make an SMG. <laughs> Sucker. We lose him. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go see what the deal is with this. Uh, my guess is that we need SMG specific parts, but um, let's just let's just check it out here. So if we see the other thing about this too is it kind of wouldn't be a bad idea to keep that as a backup weapon. Uh, what do we need here? Let's just take a look. SMG five. Oh, this will. Oh, handgun parts for this too. Does that mean then that this thing is governed by the handgun perk? I don't remember reading that, but I wasn't really looking. See, this unlocks pistol crafting. That says handguns. That says handguns. John. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know. It, it would either be gunslinger because of the fact that it does require crystal part, a uh, crystal pistol parts, or it would be machine gunner. Because an MP5 is really, well, it's not really an assault rifle, it's an SMG. So yeah, this probably does not govern that. 
Uh, but I don't remember seeing anything in here specific to SMGs. So my guess is that it's Gunslinger. Which, if that's the case... Oh, yeah, okay. Master use handguns and SMG. Sweet. Okay, that's good. That's good, then, because... um. That means when we get points in agility, you know, all this damage to the head and dismemberment's gonna I'm assume I'm assume it's gonna apply I assume I can't talk tonight, geez Louise, that it's gonna apply to the MV5 too. They need to be more clear about that though, but this is experimental. Maybe they'll maybe they will clarify that better. Okay, so good, good, good. So, all right, so we still need handgun parts then. <laughs> uh, oh, this requires forged st steel. Hmm. The pistol doesn't require forged steel, does it? I think it requires forged iron. Yeah, okay. That's another thing. Now, I do have two pieces of forged steel that we got off of, you know, one of those little transformer doohickeys that we found on the ground. We might even be able to buy some of that from the trader, too. Is the steel is probably gated behind something? It's not. Oh, and we need the crucible. Shit. Okay. Um, the crucible is something we have to make, and it's locked behind something. Advanced engineering. Okay. Ooh, that takes a long time too. That, and I think we have to make that in the workbench anyway. Okay. Well, um, we probably are not going to be making an SMG anytime soon then. But. Uh, it was nice to find that, though, because we eventually will be able to make it. All right, so let's see. I need to do some inventory management, so I'm going to do that, you guys, and then I will meet you over at the Horde base, and we're going to fortify that thing and get it ready for Horde Night 14. If we get done early and we have enough time, uh, we'll go loot some more POIs. Okay, so I'll be back in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. So I, I couldn't resist the... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist looting this place because I just I was just walking by it and it looked like a, a little ruined open area, which it is for part of it. Um, then I discovered there's a lot more to it. So uh, we went through the upstairs portion here. See what's down there, by the way? We're going to get to that in a second. Um, and no zombies in here at all, <clears throat> at least none that I've run into so far. And I haven't heard sleepers, so I think this is a sleeper-free building. So we looted this kitchen, and among other things, we found a shotgun schematic. So I don't think... In fact, I'm sure we don't know how to make shotguns yet. I was even thinking about, you know, uh, specking into it, but we don't need to now. So, boy, I'll tell you what, you know, with Alpha 18 and, you know, this new setup with schematics and stuff, you really, really want to consider whether or not you want to, you know, spend points on stuff like this uh, or try and find the schematics. It's just, I, I think it just kind of depends upon... You know what it is. Now I can actually make these too because I've got shotgun parts. The one problem that I do have though is that I can only make the crap level ones, I think, because of the fact that I haven't, um, uh, boomstick. So yeah, uh, I can still only make the, the poor quality. So that, that's a, that would still be a reason to spec into this if you wanted to make a nicer quality one. Anyway, let's go down here and see what we have in this weapons. Cash. Maybe we'll luck out and finally find a pistol. But uh, yeah, th this is a interesting place because there's more to it than than it first appeared. You know, uh, don't see anything but trash down here. We might as well loot the trash. We got some gunpowder there. A little cobblestone action. Uh, you know what? I was gonna bring some cobblestone with me to the base too. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit that. We got a little XP for it too. Might as well. Uh, all right. So, ammo cache. Very nice. And what do we got in here? Weapons bag. Come on, pistol. Yes. Oh, and we got a, a level two junk turret too. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay, we're going to take that stuff. Okay, we finally have our pistol. Now, the one thing about the pistol, though, is that I still only have uh, level one. So, um, if we wanted to make a better quality one, we'd have to, to, to spec into it. But, I, you know, I don't know. I think eventually we're going to find a higher quality pistol anyway. So, but getting this is cool, man. Um, junk turrets, they don't really do a lot of, of damage you know, just raw damage, but 
what they can do is they can distract zombies and they can be like a, you know, a, an early warning system for you. So, um, I wasn't, you know, I tried this out of the multiplayer and I wasn't really impressed with it at first, but then I watched a couple other, uh, videos of some other dudes, uh, cage eight eight and, uh, well cage anyways, um, using it. And I got, you know, he kind of demonstrated that it actually is pretty useful uh, to use for that purpose. Now we already have a grave digger, um, on our shovel. So that will probably just sell. There's not really any reason for us to have two of those. Um, okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. And the ammo for this, you just make right out of scrap, um, you know, iron. So a junk turn ammo. That's cool. The problem we're going to have now is, <laughs> is that we're not going to have enough, uh, slots on our toolbar for all the stuff we need to keep on our toolbar. Um, so the pistol is now going to live in slot number two. And what we're probably going to do is... We'll probably switch places with the bow and the crossbow as needed. I still want to keep the shotgun. I don't think I'm going to use this as a handheld weapon, but I am going to use it as an actual turret. So it doesn't need to stay on our toolbar all the time. We don't need any of that stuff at all. Let's scrap those. And I uh, don't know that we really need that. But let's take... We're, we're going to have to go back to the base now anyways because we got more stuff. As always, we'll get the cloth from that. Get some cloth. Wait, what's that glass now? What do I need glass? Um, that gives paper. So this gives paper now for shotgun shells and plastic. So it's actually worth, definitely worth harvesting for that reason. Nice. Well, I'm glad I stopped in here. It's completely sidetracked us once again from what we need to do. But we finally found that elusive pistol we've been looking for. Uh, so I want to go back and get, like, the ammo for it. Because we've got like over a full stack of ammo back at the base. It's just been sitting there waiting for us to find a pistol. And this is gonna this is gonna up our game, guys, because you know, we're gonna be able to start taking on any normal zombie now without with with very little problem. Now, you know, the really big mean son of a bitch is like the biker, you know, we're still gonna steer clear of him if we can. Um, and we'll still probably steer clear of Edgar just because of the fact that he's so expensive to kill, but any other just normal zombie, um, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. We'll kick the shit out of you now. Okay, cool. So, um, let's head on back to the base and drop this stuff off. Uh, I am I am kind of tempted, I'll be honest with you. I am kind of tempted to take that next point in Gunslinger. Just because we can then make a little bit better quality. But we're also going to get... We're also going to increase our damage with our guns, too, and fire rate and reload rate. So, you know, if we're going to use the pistol as kind of our primary weapon for a while, it's probably going to be worth it for us to maybe even put a couple more points into uh, into the outlaw. So many things to do, though, man. It's like, it's, it's not really a matter of if you should take a lot of this stuff. It's just a matter of when you should take it. You know, like, what's the priority? But because I think the pistol is really going to help our survivability, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put another point, at least one more point into it for now. And then once we do that, we will take this one apart, get the parts from it, and then make a new one uh, at the higher quality. Now we'll meet you um, over at the, well, how much time do we got left? Yeah, we, we got a little bit of time left. Uh, over at the Horde base, and we will start working on getting that ready for Horde night. Um, and actually day 14 is coming up too. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. We are back and we are at the power station here. Uh, so let's see. Oh, we got a sleeper right there. Uh, all right, here. I, I made a little, I punched a little hole over here. Um, so we have a, a way to get out. In fact, I want to put a hole probably on this side. We should have an exit on all sides. Uh, when it's all said and done here. So if if we set this down, does it shoot a sleeper? Let's find out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at it going to town on him. He's coming after us though. Love it. 
absolutely love it. Oh, we got more coming. Hey, how come the junk dirt's not coming after him? Okay, we got some dude over there. Oh, I know why. You have to be, um... You have to be uh, within range of it. If you get too far out of range, then it won't... Then it won't do its thing. Oh, I love having a pistol, you guys. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so watch this. If I get too far away from it, then it shuts down. So right about here. Which is interesting. Uh, and I kind of like that mechanic, too, because it... You know, it doesn't make it, like, super OP. You know, you need to stay near it for it to work, so... I think that's cool. Alright. Oh, good. We got lockpicks. Why is it turning red out? It's day 14, not night 14. You're freaking me out, game. You're freaking me out. Okay, we should probably actually clear this place. Of course, they beat the crap out of here. Um, yeah, that's across the way there. Yeah, they did a number on this place, that's for sure. Oh shit, I'm ignored. I don't want to be trapped inside of here. I don't know if they if they heard me or not, but we're not gonna stick around and find out. No wonder <laughs> no wonder all those landmines were going off. Well, we didn't need those assholes to show up. God, gone it. Now they're going to be meandering around over there while we got to work. <sighs> All right, let's go around this way. Yep, see, they're all hanging out over there. Hmm. Well, that complicates things. Nothing's ever easy, right? Nothing is ever easy. Alright, is that an Edgar? No. Okay, let's pull that guy away. I wonder if we could get him to come across the landmines, too. Oh, did he not see us? Oh, wait, did we kill him? I didn't even notice. Did we actually kill him? We must have killed him. Yeah, I think we... I think we actually killed him. Alright, do we have more? And yeah, there's the big mama. Come on, big mama. Look at that juicy headshot. All right, let's see if we can get her to run over the landmines. Nope, she stopped coming after us. Come on, big mama. Over here. <laughs> That's funny. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Oh, it killed her. Nice job. And I get the XP for it, too, which is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I have to, uh... I have to, um... Give props to Cage 848 for... For showing me how, that that turret's actually useful, because I tried it... I tried it in, um... You know, multiplayer, and I just... I wasn't very impressed with it. But I was also trying to use it as a handheld weapon... Um, you know, because it really doesn't do very much damage. It probably does if you spec into it, though. But, you know, I, wa I watched his some of his videos, and, you know, he was actually u putting it to good use. So, yeah, let's punch a hole right here. Uh, here, we'll put this down in case something sneaks up behind us. One of the things I saw him doing, saw Cage doing with it, too, is he was actually mining with it. 
Well, no, not with this, but he was he had created a mine and he put this by the entrance to guard the the mine, which I thought was pretty cool. So we might do something like that too. All right, so we we were in here trying to clear this place when that running horde came through. Ooh, lockers. Can we have some clothes, please? Pants would be really nice. Mmm. Nice. Okay. No, we don't need that stuff. We need pants. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, let's go ahead and remove our dress, finally. <laughs> um, modify. There goes the timer. We're going to take the storage pocket out of there, and we're going to put it into our new pants. And then we're going to wear our pants. Okay, and let's also, uh, let's go ahead and... That does give us heat resist. Let's see something here. That gives us three heat and six cold. What's this give us? That gives us eight heat. We might want to hang on to this when we have to go back to the desert, because I was starting to have some pretty major heat issues uh, when we were there. Wow, that gives 10 heat resist, 9. Yeah, you, we might have to have like a desert collection, so to speak. Uh, this, 2 and 9, yeah, I don't think we need that. Let's just scrap that. Okay, this is awesome. Um, so, let's go to here. Now, this is going to slow us down a little bit, but that's all right. I'd rather have, have toughness, because we're getting hit anyway, you know? So, we're, we're kind of getting to the point where we're not going to be running away from them as much as we were in the beginning, and instead we're going to start taking them on and kicking the shit out of them. Uh, you know, we could have been, been making scrap armor all along, too. I forgot about that. Kind of, we don't really need to now, though, because we've got iron, scrap iron boots. we got leather armor, leg armor. Um, and then we're going to have this now. Okay, so let's mod this. We have two slots, too, so we can... Uh, you can't put pockets in these, though. You can put, um, you know, the actual uh, fanny pack doohickeys in there, but you can't put the sewn pockets in those. Okay, so let's uh, wear this. We're going to hang on to this so we have a backup set of armor. Uh, we don't need that with us right now. All right, so... Good. Good dude. Good, good, good. So we're doing pretty good on armor now, guys. Now we could do, if we wanted to go full-on heavy armor, that's a that's considered light armor. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to go full-on heavy because this gives us 10 armor rating. If we also do scrap armor for this, uh, we are going to really be slowed down, even though we do have some of the mods to help counter that a little bit. So, yeah, let's just go with this for now. We need to clear... Let's go up first. If there even is an up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the hole I made. What I was thinking about doing is clearing out, you know, a 3x3 three three area of blocks and putting iron spikes down so then we can just shoot down in here and actually try and kill some of them. Um, the other thing we could think about maybe doing is just removing this entire staircase altogether so they can't they just plain can't get up there. They didn't really they weren't really trying to get up there though I noticed. They were they were pretty much just staying where I was. Um cuz you know like I said they're they're a lot smarter now. They if if they if they can't find a path to you, they will they will they'll you know look for another way or do something else. They're not quite as dumb as they used to be. We should probably reinforce this well that requires concrete okay but it's not broken either we might put some more cobble up there though just to reinforce that because they did you know they have busted this up so it's um yeah it needs it needs some reinforcement that's for damn sure it really does i mean this building will probably hold up for the day 14 horde but after that i don't think i don't think we can use any more hmm. Yeah, they really did a number on it. Okay, let's go down and uh, clear the bottom area. Plus, there will be a few things we can loot down there. Because I don't want to start working on this place and still have sleepers down there. Come 
More ammo, that's good. More ammo, that's good. <laughs> I'll take it. Boy, I don't I don't know you guys. I'm not sure if I trust this building to hold up even for day 14. It's uh they did a number on it. In there, three bar in there, more ammo. Sweet. I remember in Alpha 17, you would find a lot of ammo in cars. I haven't done a lot of car looting though. All right, are there any Zeeks in here? Is that one over in the corner there? No, I think that's some trash. All right, let's go back up through the other direction and just get this other area cleared. And then we have—I have to decide. I have to decide if I want to trust this for one more night because this is only a 1,200 hit point building. It's not a 25. Mm, yeah, I mean it wouldn't take them much if they just got a little bit smarter. They could get us in that building, so we might have to come up with a plan B. some nice stuff especially this okay <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that and can we grab it all we are completely 100% encumbered we don't need these <laughs> yes we can I don't know why we would put a semi trigger mod on a pistol that's already semi automatic but this will be nice yeah, because what this does is a 20% chance to cripple a leg. Okay, so we got that. Plus, you know, we already have um, the cripple chance from agility, too. So we have level 3 agility, so we have a 15% chance to dismember. So if that stacks, I don't know if it does or not, but if that stacks, we have a 35% chance all, all together now. I'm not sure if it does. I, I would imagine it probably does, but I don't know that for sure. Nice. Okay. Um, What the hell are we doing? Let's get our weapons back where they're supposed to be. Yeah, we're like completely full. All right. You know what? I don't think we're going to do this place, you guys. I'm just... Uh... Yeah. All right. We're, we're going to be so slow going back. Yeah, I'm taking that too. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna have to go back with fat rolls man that's all there is to it oh why didn't i loot that before what's that uh tank top that would be good wait what are we wearing for a shirt oh yeah we're wearing this heat resist okay that would be good for our desert garb too so let's hang on to that too uh, i don't think there's anything else in here loot wise there's a lot of stuff that you can wrench um you know, for parts and stuff like that. Yeah, let's take that. Aloe seeds. I already have some aloe seeds back at the base. Uh, I don't want to get rid of anything. Just don't want... Oh, here. Here's, let's do this. We can make a duct tape. Okay, that frees up a slot for us. I'm pretty much hanging on to um, all seeds that I find because, you know, we are going to get a garden going here soon. All right, we'll take all that, too. Okay, guys, well, it is day 14 now. And we don't have a Horde Knight base, so we've got to figure that out, like, pronto. Uh, so I have, I'm going to have to give some thought to... Uh, can't take any of that. I've, I've been making jars on the forge now, so we're not, we're not going to loot jars anymore. Uh, let's get rid of it. I'd kind of like to take two gunpowder, but don't know what I'm going to give up for it. 
don't think I want to give up anything for it, so. Okay. Um. Yeah, so uh, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do, Horde. We've got to get that figured out. So let's get our butt back to the base and get unloaded. But, and besides, we're out of time anyway. Wait, I've actually gone over quite quite a ways, but that's right. Sometimes that happens. Having too much fun, man. Don't want to end the episode. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, even though I don't want to. And I will think about where we're going to do Day 14 Horde. Um, and when I bring you back in the next episode, we will be well on our way to securing whatever that location ends up being for Horde Night 14. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help, and I do greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.